What is up, Geometry Dash Gamers? I'm sure you've all seen GD Colon's video on how Generation Retro is the worst rated level in the game. While he makes some pretty solid points, I personally don't believe the level is that bad. The gameplay, while being mediocre most of the time, I didn't have much issues with it when I played it for the first time. I say this because a fan sent me a DM a while ago asking if I wanted to be even more pissed off at the rating standards this game and y'all know and love has. It contained the ID for quite possibly the worst level I've ever played in this game, and I stream level requests, so that's saying something. Make sure you subscribe so you can watch me play your levels on stream. Before we start the video, shout out to Excuse Me What, who said, Hey Fridge Door, are you the rating system? Cause you'll never be fixed. Make sure to comment hashtag AZArmy for a chance to get a shout out in my next upload. Now let's get back into the video. The level I was sent was called Monster Energy, and despite being named after a mass conglomerate's flagship product into the energy drink industry, this level could not be further from mass-produced corporate CP grinding. I say that because no one over the age of 7 would realistically build something like this and genuinely believe it will be rated. I am not exaggerating when I say this level makes me want to commit federal crimes just so I can be locked up and never have to go anywhere near this level again. By now you're probably wondering what makes this level so bad that it makes you want to become a felon. Well I'll show you. The level begins as a classic generic new Rob Chop style Jepsoni 4 garbage rust level, which already sets the bar so low that it's underneath the ground. But then we get this. Are you serious right now? These platforms and spikes have no outlines until you already pass them. The only indicator is this little sign here, but it subconsciously tricks me into thinking it's telling me the level only goes downhill from here. After the world's most generic cube gameplay ever, we transfer into playing with balls. <laughs> Except you might as well play with your own balls, because there's no fun to be had playing with this guy's balls. After that, we get a massive art of the shopkeeper advertising new additions to the shop. This is subliminal marketing to brainwash the impressionable children that make up the Geometry Ash community so that they're more likely to conform to commercialism and the faults of modern society as a whole. This level is a propaganda scheme created by the United States government to get Rob Top to trick children into buying more American-made products, which is made clear by the fact that the shopkeeper is very inconspicuously wearing a Trump hat. As you can see, I just died. This level is so bad that it can't even differentiate between platforms and background art, to the point where the path forward is about as clear and readable as a UPC code made out of soap. After I figured out the path forward, I realized it's time for a <coughs> SHIT GAMEPLAY ALERT! THIS IS A PUBLIC SERVICE ANNOUNCEMENT! GROUND TO GROUND GAMEPLAY IS REALLY BAD FOR YOUR HEALTH! That is why statistics show that the people who have the most birthdays LIVE THE LONGEST! In all seriousness, never use ground-to-ground -ground gameplay with the ball or the spider. It flows poorly and is overall a really boring path to follow. Unless justified by sync or just being the level roaming by Pock, never use this gameplay. Right after that amazing display of a lack of artistic integrity, we get to the hardcore memory part, where the boys become men and the girls become junior. It's one of the most insane memory parts in the history of this game, where only a slight few are able to pull it off. I think you hit the green one. After that top one gameplay that Andrew Tate and Kai Guy are afraid of, we get this masterpiece that has Michelangelo rolling in his grave. It's got a lot of depth and meaning behind it, and is even displayed at the Louvre beside the Mona Jello. This artist clearly wanted to make a deep impact by reminding us all that when put into cosmic perspective, the only thing worse than finding a worm in your apple is finding half a worm. After this, we get a standard copyright infringement where the creators blatantly steal Rob Top's hard honest work and pass it off as their own. I doubt they followed copyright laws and got written permission from Rob Top to use his designs. So these guys are going to find themselves face to face with me in Colorado after I committed those federal crimes I mentioned earlier. They did such a bad job at copying Rob Top's homework that they cheated on the exam and still failed. If they even put a single calorie of effort into this level, breaking it that badly would not be possible. After starting another run, I died at the generic cube part for a very interesting reason. The air structure, whose only purpose is to fill space, had hitboxes. If anyone who sneezed on this dumpster fire of a level knew the first thing about making a level that doesn't look and play like an abomination by the standards of the recent tab, they would have known that decorations like this should never have hitboxes. 
after dying to the wave to cube transition about 93,784,002 more times, I got so fed up with the level that I placed a start position. In the next part, my conspiracy theory about government propaganda holds true as a very poorly concealed spy named Monty is checking in to make sure you've been adequately brainwashed. Fortunately for me, I never had a brain to begin with. After a mental breakdown and a few gay chompies, we come to this wave part with some dummy thick jello cube band booty shaking in the background. Commercialism wasn't enough, erotic dancing was just added to the mix. After braving the underground dance club, we see a big sign that says EXIT. I sure hope that means the level ends here. Plot twist, there's still more. After some boring structures and a great value version of Hexagon Force, we get a no-name copy of the Geometrical Dominator Dark Part. Because the creator hates you. Never play with his balls. From there we just get a nerf deadlock wave and other boring gameplay and an unfair ball gameplay gimmick that is completely unreadable. After yet another start position, I finished off the level. So what do I really think about this level? I firmly believe that the mods who sent this level probably drank a monster and snorted some smarties before passing out and slamming their nose into the keyboard hitting the send button by accident. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.